Tim Morgan's a Republican from Mecklenburg County. If he wins election in the general and the primary of this time, we're so early in the season, you would replace Representative Jacqueline Schaefer. Thank you, sir, for being on the set with us. Kelly, I appreciate the opportunity to be here. A Republican uh, has holds this seat. You aim to replace Jacqueline Schaefer, who did not seek re-election. Uh, what's different about you from Representative Schaefer? Is it we focus on the issues. I think one of the biggest issues um, is I've spent the last six years on the Charlotte Mecklenburg Board of Education. Uh, I have two kids that have graduated from the CMS system. My wife and I are both graduates of the system. And so I bring a very strong public education background uh, to the table uh, for this particular seat. And with the state budget being over 50% uh, focused on education, I think that's a real skill that I can bring to the table. What does a Republican bring to the public education debate? Because in Raleigh, in the media and in the politics of this, Democrats use it as a sledgehammer on Republicans. Public ed funding. How do you make that? How do you make a difference there? Um, I think what, what we bring to the table um, are pro-business principles. Uh, one of the things that we have looked at in CMS is, is can we find ways to privatize different services, uh, whether it's the buses or whether it's the um, uh, payroll or things like that. And so I think you can bring that to the table. Uh, I also think coming to the table with a pro-business mindset of what is the business community looking for from our graduates. Uh, and so part of that is making sure that we have partnerships uh, with industry, with local businesses, making sure that we are turning out the type of students that they need to be successful and to drive economic development in our area. How hard is it to gauge what business wants? There are many kinds of businesses, many kinds of needs in this world of ours. Right. How, do you, how do you dial in on it to craft public policy? Well, I think what you have to do is, is lean on your locals because what is needed in Mecklenburg County, it's going to be different than what's needed down east or up in the mountains. And specifically in Mecklenburg County, you may have different challenges throughout the system. So I think it's extremely important to have open lines of communications with your business community. Uh, bring folks in. We have a, a good example of that with our folks down at Olympic High School. Uh, we have a lot of manufacturing in that area, and we have partnered and have a group that that, that works with us to make sure that we can place students with them during doing internships, and that way when they graduate, they have jobs waiting for them. One of the top kitchen table issues for parents of public education students, charter schools, vouchers, traditional public education. What's Correct. the balance there if, if you have a say over state policy? I, I think all of them have a, a place at the table. Uh, one of the things that I have talked at length about is the need to give traditional public schools many of the same flexibilities that the charter schools have. What's missing now? Uh, I think one of the biggest things that's missing now uh, is our calendar. Uh, we have a very inflexible calendar that we are stuck with, um, and we have kids, we have certain schools, we have certain areas that we ought to have that flexibility uh, so we could possibly lengthen the school year, shorten the summer. The summer learning loss is real, and we need to be given the tools, um, we need to give the tools to the uh, folks at our local LEAs so they can make those decisions. We have a Department of Ed, you have the legislature. How does the legislature influence that kind of policy? Is it for you to influence state education officials, or is it for you to mandate it through law that that's what they need to do? What I would like to see right now, it is the General Assembly that passes those laws that mandate it. What I would like to see is a loosening to truly begin to allow the locals the ability to make those type of decisions, what best serves their district. Education, is there any other issue that stands out? Every, every, every person seeking office is in the economy and education, but you are uh, educational focused. Educational focus, also transportation mobility. Uh, in South Charlotte, major issue, uh, whether it has to do with I-485, our local roads need to build bridges, uh, and then also job creation. And job creation obviously covers many things, um, but those are the, that and education, those are the three issues I'm focused on. All right, Tim Morgan running for office in Mecklenburg County State House. Thank you, sir, for Great. being on. Kelly, thank you very much.